Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is about my upgrading of the Fiesta ST's stock steering wheel. As you know, last time um, in preparation for installing the six point roll cage, I needed to work out how to get the wheel off and in the first step in that is taking the airbag off and I basically destroyed the wheel in the process of doing that. Uh, however, um, I've always planned to upgrade the steering wheel into something a bit more racy, a bit lighter weight as well. So this video is about that process, um, hopefully fairly straightforward. I've got my parts. Uh, I've also got another little clip to show you of what I've done with the stock ST seats uh, that I took out of the car, replacing with Sparco Pro 2000 bucket seats. A little bit of fun there. So let's go and take a look. Okay, that's not a Fiesta ST, that's a Lancia. Let's look at the parts for the job. Here's the ST stock steering wheel. Uh, really had no problems with it uh, until I took the airbag off. Always intended to replace it uh, with something more racy, but it's been a really good wheel. Lovely um, shape, lovely grip. Uh, so that's 375 mils across. Here's the new wheel. I've gone for the Sparco, a bit of a Sparco freak. Um, I've gone for the Sparco R383 Champion. Uh, black leather with red trim, uh, red stitching, uh, a flat dish, so very flat profile, really nice to hold. A um, bit smaller than the, the stock wheels, about 330 mils versus um, the stock, which is about 375. I'm not sure if you'll see the difference here. It's difficult to show you, but it is uh, just a touch smaller. Um, but I think that's a really nice little amount of reduction. The wheel comes with a horn. So I'll be wiring that in. I do want to keep the car roadworthy um, and have MOT, so I'm going to keep the horn going. And then um, in order to attach the steering wheel um, to the car, you need um, a wheel boss kit. OMP do one just for this uh, precise uh, Mark 7 ST. Um, here's the part number. Um, obviously OMP is Italian, came from Italy. There's a bit of delay in getting over here because of the problems that the country's facing. This is what it looks like. Quite a protrusion. Um, the wheel will sit on top of here. If I just move that for a moment, the wheel will sit on top like that. Um, <clears throat> Trying to balance it. So it's going to come into the cabin quite a bit, quite a protrusion there. But um, the good news is that because of the flat dish profile of that wheel, if I compare it with how the sort of stock wheel sits, they're roughly about the same um, sort of protrusion into the cabin. So I'm about six, six foot one. A bit nervous about getting the uh, boss kit uh, because of how much it extends into the cabin but I think I'm going to be good uh, thanks to the um, flat dish profile of the steering wheel. Um, you also get one of these resistors, uh, I've ordered a couple of spares, um, these resistors really sort of blank off the um, or should uh, blank off the airbag circuitry um, and, and fool the car in thinking that it's got an airbag still, even though it won't have one. So I look forward to seeing how that will work. Bought a couple of spares because actually in taking the uh, stock seatbelts out, uh, I've left um, some airbag uh, connections down there that are connected to the, the um, seatbelt mechanisms. Um, so they're just loose and open and currently my airbag light is not on. So uh, I'm hoping to use a couple more resistors to close those circuits and see if the airbag light goes out. No big deal if it doesn't. Um, so there's the parts and um, let's go and take a look at uh, getting them installed. So opening up the door, my lovely brand new ready to go uh, racing seats uh, and cage. Um, I actually managed to solve the um, positioning issues of the last video so they're all nice and aligned uh, and very much in the perfect driving position for me. Uh, one of the things to get yourself familiar with once you've removed the stock wheel is this bit of kit here which comes with the car and it's the way that um, the electrics come through the steering wheel and continue to operate despite the circular rotation of the steering wheel. Um, these two um, connectors are for the steering wheels, um, handheld controls, things like the um, cruise control buttons, the volume pin buttons, all that's all gone. So these are redundant. Um, I'll probably just tidy them up, hide them away, if not snip them off. Um, the only, this is the airbag connection, connection in yellow. So those two holes um, is where I'll put um, these resistor resistors. 
I uh, should just plug straight in there and close the circuit nicely. Um, so that's important. And then you've got to figure out uh, if you've got a steering wheel with a horn and you want the horn to continue to work, um, what what else you've got to work with. This um, was connected. Uh, this is a ground point, basically. And there's a couple of other points. Um, and if you play around with them, you make a connection. They actually all or make the horn go off. I probably shouldn't do that, but um, anyway. So all I need to do is, um, theoretically, when I get to the point of installing the uh, Sparco horn, those two connections there, just connect to either that one or that one, or any combination of those, uh, it will work, hopefully without blowing anything okay. Um First part of the job, got the uh, components up on the dash, ready available, including the bolt that came from the original um, steering wheel. Um, this is the hub kit, boss kit, and uh, just taking the sleeve off so I can see what I'm doing. And I've just put some masking tape on the connectors um, so that they don't keep shocking me and uh, giving me a fright each time the horn goes off. But essentially I'm ready to uh, put the boss kit on. Um, got some spanners and stuff to my right, which you can't see, including... Got a can't, can't do this without a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. So, all set. Decided to take... Um, just clip out instead of um, trying to force the wires through and get all muddled up. Take the clip out. I'm gonna feed these wires through into the central chamber, sort of separately. Uh, a lot less hassle trying to do it whilst it's on the wheel. So let's feed these in. <clears throat> okay, finally the wires are in, uh, sticking through. Um, so the wheel should turn around, no problem with those wires there. First thing we're going to do is try and secure them um, with the retaining bolt which came from the stock wheel 24 millimeter um, wrench is what you need for that i'm hoping there's enough clearance to get past all the wires let's see if i can start it off by hand okay horns up there Let's take off. Okay, so the boss kit's on, the rubber sleeve is on, the wires are tidied up. I think um, hopefully the thing will rotate with no problem. And I've made a made shift um, holder for the two under here are the two horn connectors. It's gonna be extremely tight to get those affixed uh, to the horn um, when that goes in. Should be just enough room, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Um, but anyway, I've got the cables there, ready to go. If I pull them much more, they're going to strip out. Okay. 
little bit of improvisation. Just knocked up these extension cables. So hopefully I've got a lot more room to play with and the horn will work without turning a now on the wires. Tape. I don't think that's the fault of the so, uh, part. Made a little extension, tool. horn still it's works, the it insulate the wires, much, um, um, leeway. Hopefully, maybe a little bit more tape just to make sure there's no connections inside. The steering wheel's earthed. Um, so, with any luck now, I should be good to go in terms of um, connecting these two extension wires to the horn. And then I can tighten the wheel up and hopefully we'll be good to go. So that's all that. Um, here is the horn assembly, a little button, a couple of connections. Let's see, that should go on there nicely. There it does. Here's the other one. Secure, and I'm getting used to being shocked by the sound of the horn. Right, so that this One. clips in. I need it. I'll press the button. Hopefully, hopefully, anywhere the horn will work. So sorry about all the noise. Just tighten this up. Hide the wires. So that's my steering wheel. I'm going to start the car up. Hopefully, that's dead ahead. And the final piece of the puzzle is the sticker. So, straight ahead. One last thing to check is whether the desired effect on the airbags has happened. Um, there you have it guys, steering wheel fitted, car done, uh, really look forward and to using it. Got the two spare More content ones. to come, um, please give us a thumbs up on and subscribe and look forward to seeing where the original seatbelt mechanisms were.